Brazil has now recorded more than half a million coronavirus deaths, making it only the second country after the US to pass that figure. More than 2,000 people have died of COVID there in the past day alone. It's led to protests this weekend over President Bolsonaro's approach. He refuses to back measures like social distancing. Angus Crawford reports. On a beach where Rio normally comes to play, a bleak memorial. 500 flowers to mark 500,000 deaths. And across this country still, the graveyards receive more of Covid's victims. Is it any wonder? Look at the crowded trains. No social distancing here, but many blame the government for allowing the virus to spread, hoping for so-called herd immunity. And as the number of deaths grow, so does the anger. The feeling here is one of indignation. We can't stand it anymore. The government is worse than the virus. He took too long to buy the vaccine. Herd immunity won't do any good. The only immunity you can get is with the vaccine. There's no other way. I've lost many friends, almost lost a cousin. Millions of people are orphans, fatherless, motherless and childless. There are protests across Brazil. The banner reads Bolsonaro out. He's the president who once called COVID the little flu, and they blame him for what's happening. But in a tweet, the country's health minister insisted he was working tirelessly to vaccinate all Brazilians in the shortest time possible. Saving lives and stopping the health system being overwhelmed, two key priorities. But the vaccination campaign seems to be stuttering. 29% of the population given a first dose, only 11% a second. And so they march in their thousands against what they see as government incompetence, calling for their president to be impeached. This health emergency may soon become a political crisis. Angus Crawford, BBC News.